and welcome back to another video. Okay, so I am here to announce the winner of the Scorpio round from the Zodiac art competition that I'm currently hosting here on the channel. For those of you who may or may not know, but I have been creating an ebook for each season throughout the astrological year. And of course, Scorpio season is upon us. I think it actually started yesterday. So happy birthday to all of you Scorpios out there. So yeah, I've been creating these ebooks throughout the year and I've been asking yourselves to create illustrations for each of the seasons. So I can put it as the front cover um, for each ebook. So without further ado, let's look at these entries. So first up, we're going to take a look at Amila's entries. So she sent in four different illustrations for her Scorpio piece. So we'll go through them individually, which, my gosh, they're all incredible. Right, first one then. <laughs> We have this really cool one um, of the Scorpio symbol tattooed on this lady's back. And you know, this reminds me of my Scorpio friend and she is covered in tattoos. She actually has a really cool gothic, like um, dark tattoo on her whole back and so this really reminded me of her so yeah i feel that this of course it screams scorpio it's got a skull you know with representing death i love how the hair looks like fire but it's like a blue color you know and then also i like how it's got the stars and everything in the background and how it's just sort of pieced together in the center like that really really cool amila thank you for sending in that entry next one then from the other entries is this one, which I think again, class. It's got the Scorpio constellation going on. It's got the M symbol, another scorpion skull. And I also like how you're going with the roses through the skulls for these. Awesome photo, or should I say illustration. And the next one you sent in Amila is this one of this lady just centered right in the middle like that with loads of skulls and scorpions piling around her. It's like she's a witch, you know, she screams witch vibes to me. And I like how you put all those M's in the background as well. I love the colors you've chosen for this one and how there's, there's those green eyes. And this last one that you sent in, I like the yellow, the bright yellow in the background with the deep dark purple. I like that color combination. And the eyes again, very striking eyes. And I like how you put this little decoration up here on her head. But yeah, very mystical, very Scorpio to me. Though my personal favorite out of all of these four, eh, it's really between the one, the purple one, purple background with the lady in the middle and the Scorpio symbol with the skull and the scorpion on top. It had to be between those, but if I was to pick, it would probably be the one with the darker blue background because I like I like that color combination. So yeah, Amela, thank you so much for sending in all four of these illustrations. I hope everyone watching this, you can see just how amazingly talented she is. Next one then, we have this illustration sent in from Fotini. And I have to say, I really like the colors. I love the blue, this, the dark blue, the dark purples and how that planet is outlined really well and how the scorpion is just laid out on top of it. And I like how you've got that like pink star at the stinger to really exemplify the penetrating intensity to the sign of Scorpio. But yeah, it's a really great illustration for Tini. Thank you for sending it in. And yes, next up, we're gonna go then on to this illustration sent in from Jaff. And very mystical, of course, okay? I mean, she's got a crystal ball, there's a cauldron, there's spider's webs, there's stones, rocks, there's branches, there's water, there's jewels, there's a Pluto symbol, like, yeah, very Scorpio. And those nails are like daggers, you know? <laughs> and I like the way also she has the black lips. Yeah, great illustration overall, uh, Jaff. And so thank you very much for sending it in. 
Next up, we have this illustration sent in from Mathild. Mathild won the Taurus round from the Zodiac Art Competition and also she won the Libra round. So she's back again with the Scorpio illustrations and I gotta say, I really love the hair colour especially and I like that she's nude, you know? And I also like that there's this huge like purple, is it a big snake in the background? I'm not really sure of how to make that out, but let us know in the comment section, Mathilde, what exactly that is. It, it kind of reminds me of, you know, the snakes from Pokemon. I, I can't remember the names of them, but it, yeah, it reminds me of that quite a bit. And I just love how detailed you make your illustrations, Mathilde, every single time and how, how you use the background and it's always very different and it always exemplifies very well the archetype that you are you're creating. I also like the way you have the mystical sort of water at the bottom there as well. And is that a lotus? A lotus flower or plant in her hand there? Anyways, thank you, Mithild, for sending in your entry once again. Next up then we have this illustration sent in from Nicole. Nicole, I gotta say, I love the red, okay? The red is very daring, very Scorpio. I love how it has the eye in the middle with the symbol there. And I just, the hand to me is so cool. I love how that, that hand looks. The long red nails and how there is a snake wrapped around that hand, it's just it's just very very different you know to me and even that you used a snake overall because of course with snakes they shed their skin and then old skin sort of comes back renewed and that sort of exemplifies the transformation and the renewal and the regeneration of Scorpio energy and plus one of the symbols associated with the sign of Scorpio is the snake I believe. Yeah, there you go. You went, with, you went with a different approach and I really like that. So thank you very much, Nicole, for sending in your entry as well. Next up then, we have this one from Pei Lun. Pei Lun, I have to say that I quite enjoy the colours that you used, you have used for this illustration. And I like how those plants are wrapped around her arm as well, showing that sort of connection to, to the earth and to, well, things dying and growing. But then also I like how it's sort of like she's a, a Scorpio queen, you know, the queen of death in a way, with how there's a Scorpio symbol on top of her crown. So thank you very much. I do enjoy your illustration. Thank you for sending it in. And then lastly, this is the last piece we have and this was sent in from Benjamin. Benjamin, I gotta say, I think this is so badass. <laughs> it definitely symbolizes the occult <laughs> side to Scorpio and the alchemy side to Scorpio a lot. And even when I look closely, you have the teal. That teal is there. It's like that, uh, that shadow walker or that that, you know, mysterious entity has a scorpion's tail behind them and that's pretty badass. Overall, I just think this is a really badass image. I like how they're coming up out of the flames, you know, so of course Phoenix representing um, the highest octave of the Scorpio symbol and so the Phoenix rising from the ashes and that to me, well, this image to me screams that very symbol in a way. So yeah, overall, I really love the colors. I love how it's dark, mysterious. There's even the symbol, the Minerva symbol at the very bottom. So overall, Benjamin, thank you so much for sending in your entry. So with all of those entries being showcased, which thank you so much to all of you who submitted your entry, but without further ado, let's announce the winner of this round from the Zodiac Art Competition. And the winner is Nicole. Yes, Nicole, you are the winner. The reason for why you are the winner is because of that red color. It, to me, is just, it's so, um, uh, 
it's so intensified and just in your face and it's very daring and sexy and seductive and I also love how you used a snake and that to me was quite a different perspective to see. So yeah, I I think it's a really great image as I do think all the images are really great but of course I can only choose one winner and what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you through an email asking you for your birth information etc and I also think you said in your email to me that you have a Scorpio rising so there you go it's pretty cool that you've got a Scorpio rising and you're winning this round. I will email you for your birth information and I will also send you through a free copy of the Scorpio season book an electronic copy and once I retrieve your information of course I will get started with your free 30 minute birth chart reading and also your name is going to be on the front cover of the book along with that book displayed in every single video throughout Scorpio season as well Nicole. But with all that being said guys I just really want to say thank you so much to all of you who did enter. I know there are some of you who have entered before and you're entering again and I really do appreciate that. You know if you have more illustrations you want to send in for the final four signs. Can't believe I'm saying that. We've got four more left. But yeah definitely send in for Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. They're the final four we've got. Um, and who knows, maybe you will then win and have your cover then on one of the next ones. But yeah, really, I was blown away by the pieces this round. Really incredible. So thank you. You're very, very talented people. And I do appreciate that you take the time to send in through your entries. So with all that being said then, thank you so much for watching everyone. Thank you for subscribing. And of course, if you would like to see more videos from myself and you've not yet subscribed, then go right ahead and click that subscribe button to keep up to date with more videos. And I will be back then with another video very, very soon.